One of the cool things about VCast Receiver is the ability to group multiple displays together. This is really helpful if I'm presenting in a room with multiple panels, touch or non-touch, and I want them all to mirror what's happening on my screen. Now, in order for us to do this, we need to first open the VCast Receiver app on each device we're going to mirror. We're gonna use this device over here as what we call the boss device, right? Which we're gonna group the other or secondary devices too. The way that we do this is in VCast Receiver, we're going to find the rectangle with the three little rectangles. And this is going to open up what we call the display group settings. Now I'm gonna turn on the display group settings and then you're gonna see other boards that are connected to my network display in this group list. What I'm looking for, you can see this board is named CAST5252. So I'm gonna to go to my list and find the device CAST5252. Now, if your device is not listed, you can type in the pin code or the IP address manually and then add it with the plus button. When you press OK, you're gonna see here that both boards start displaying the same pin code. That's because this board over here is actually mirroring this board. In fact, if I go to the Viewboard OS or open whiteboard, you'll actually see they mirror each other that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to project my laptop now to this board and then this board will mirror what's being displayed. So 4EH MC4, so using VCast Sender on my laptop, I'm going to cast to the board and you're going to see here that it starts mirroring my screen so I can give my presentation. And again, just keep in mind that this board here, this is the boss board, right? So any kind of sound, any kind of touch interaction is going to be limited to this board. Any secondary boards strictly become projectors only. Whenever you wanna disconnect, just disconnect with your VCast Sender app. You'll notice that the boards are still grouped. So if you wanna turn off the display group, go back to your rectangle and then just turn the group off, press okay, and then the boards will go back to being independent.